Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from 2 Samuel chapter 34 through 37. Meanwhile, Absalom had taken flight. Then the servant on watch looked about and saw a large group coming down the slope from the direction of Bahirim. He came in and reported this, telling the king that he had seen some men coming down the mountainside from the direction of Bahirim. So Jonadab said to the king, There, the princes have come. It is as your servant said. No sooner had he finished speaking, than the princes came in, weeping aloud. The king too and all his servants wept very bitterly. But Absalom had taken flight, went to Talmai, son of Amabud, Amahud, king of Geshur, and stayed in Geshur three years. The revelation that the Father gave me through this scripture is, there is someone who betrayed you, or there is someone who tried to take you out. This person is on the run, meaning this person is trying to avoid being captured. This person is in hiding. This person is in hiding from you, or the police, or from the enemy. This is the person who is, or was, in charge of coming up with the plot and plan against you that failed there was a large group of people that were coming from your direction coming from the direction of the chosen one coming from the direction of the choice coming from the direction of the young man coming from the direction of the one who was in war your guardian angel reported this to the father that he saw a large group of people coming from your direction, leaving you, withdrawing from you. This is the person who set you up. They will witness and see this as well. So this person who set you up will also see and witness those very same people whom they called to come against you, leaving you, withdrawing from you. All those people coming from the chosen one, the chosen one's direction, will be seen weeping. They are returning from the chosen one, crying bitterly. They are angry, some hurt, and some resentful. Some of these people are angry that they ever came against you. They are hurt that they ever came against you. Some of them are resenting that they ever came against you. These people are crying and weeping bitterly. But the ring leader ran away. He or she is in hiding. They are abounding in the pharaohs, which means this person is in depression and they are in worry. A pharaoh is also a trench in the earth. It is a long, narrow ditch. The father says this person feels as if they are in hell or either they feel like they are going to hell or they know they are in hell. One one of those, um, one of those, okay? This person is in the pharaohs. This is a trench in the earth, a long, narrow ditch. So this person feels like they are in hell. They are in depression and in a lot of worry. They, this is also someone who worships, um, other gods strange gods they see these strange gods as a stronghold and a fortress they see these strange gods as someone or a fortress that will protect them and be their safe place from the attacks however this place is just a place or this god is just a god that has a hold over this person, a grasp. This God, this that they are worshiping, allows them to carry on with what it is that they are trying to do to you. This person, this God, whatever this is that this person is worshiping or running to, 
it is something that supports the works of this person that they do with their own hands. Okay, so whatever it is that this person is running to, whatever wherever they are hiding at, this is something that supports the work that they do with their own hands. This is something that has a hold on this person. This is something that is carrying this person. Okay. And this is where this person is abounding in. They're hiding it. I don't know if this is a person, a place, or some type of God that this person worships, but there is some somewhere that this person is hiding abiding in, abounding in, okay? This could be something spiritual or this could be something physical. However, this is a place this person is hiding at to keep from seeing you, to keep from being captured by the police or to keep from being captured by the father who they consider an enemy, okay? This person is in hiding, not not that they can run from the from the father you know the father is of the all seeing eye but this person is literally praying that they are able to avoid being captured by you by the police and by the father and or the enemy because whatever plot or plan that they came up with to take you out of here it failed and everyone who was helping them in this plot or in this plan, they are now walking away from the chosen one. They are walking away from this young man. They are walking away from the choice. They are walking away from the one who they were going to war with. And they are walking away weeping. And they are weeping and crying bitterly. They are angry that they even attacked you. They are hurt that they even went along with this plot and this plan. They are resenting that they came into agreement with this person when it comes to you. Okay. And they are, and this is something that your garden angel is making known to the father that these, there's a large group of people who are withdrawing from you at this time and whoever it was that was in control or coming up with this plot or plan to come against you, this person is in hiding. They are in hiding from you, the police, the father, and the enemy. Their plot, their plan, their scheme, it failed. Because no weapon formed against you, the child of God, the chosen one, the choice, the one who is going to war, shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay? So, this person is now witnessing every everything that they have done fail and everyone who they called up on for help they are now witnessing these people withdraw from you okay they are witnessing these people leave from you okay and this is making them nervous and it is also making them depressed that they weren't able to do what they wanted to do which was to destroy you and take you out but the father says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's the message, y'all. Peace.